Hello everyone, I'm Greg Jarrett. Glad you're with us. Welcome to a brand new hour inside America's news headquarters. Thank you. Welcome back. A major breakthrough in the fight against cancer using something you might have in your medicine chest. Yeah, a group of researchers finding that aspirin can actually keep some cancer cells from spreading. Dr. Ernest Patty is a senior attending physician of emergency medicine at St. Barnabas Hospital. He joins us now with more on this. Thanks for joining us, first of all. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Greg, for having me. So the new information here is that it keeps cancerous cells, tumors from spreading. Well, what aspirin does is it's part of the uh, class of drugs called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, mm -hmm. which reduce inflammation. And what they found is the cancer cells have a trigger that dilates or causes inflammation in the lymphatic system, opening up those lymphatic channels, allowing the cancer cells to spread throughout the body and metastasize. Aspirin has been shown to decrease this inflammation, closing down these hijacked highways and preventing the cancer cells from spreading. Hmm. Cancer cells or cancer tumors are essentially runaway cells, right? Yes, cancer cells are definitely runaway cells. What they do is they multiply at a much faster rapid rate and create a, a tumor tissue that's unchecked by the body's normal regulatory mechanisms. So and aspirin can shut down the dilation and thus inhibit the spread. Yes, it can. It and can definitely it the, do that. the spread of all types of cancers? Well, that's what they're looking at now. You know, the, the initial uh, research just looks at the tumor cells and lymphatic uh, effects of aspirin. I'm sure they're going to try to look at it from all across the board at every type of cancer. The problem is a lot of people can't really tolerate aspirin, right? I mean, it causes all kinds of intestinal stomach problems. It can, and they've developed other types of aspirins that are, uh, they call them uh, uh, enterocoded aspirins, which dissolve down further along in the digestive tract. But you have to have this discussion with your physician because if you have ulcers or any other type of bleeding issues, he may not want you on a certain aspirin regimen that you may just want to, you know, pop one every and day. And that's can't do that. actually leads into my next question. What could be the, the negative side effects of this, if any? Well, bleeding is usually one of the side effects that occur with aspirin, uh, stomach and gastrointestinal irritation. The exciting thing about it, though, is this is a common everyday medication that's been around for many years. And, uh, you know, if it proves to be as, as strong as they see the link initially, it could be a, a huge boon for people who have had cancer. You know, people, cancer. people who take, for example, uh, statin drugs, uh, Lipitor and so forth, their doctors normally recommend a baby aspirin to go along with it. Is that also equally useful in terms of cancer cells? Well, the, the reason that they're recommending you take daily aspirin is for the more cardiovascular effects that it has. But those effects have been now extrapolated over with the uh, cancer therapy, and they're looking to see if they can utilize that in the same way. I and, mean, I take one every day too, Greg. And yeah. what are the effects? What, why do that? Oh, because basically when you take them for cardiovascular issues, mm -hmm. it thins your blood out and allows uh, uh, the platelets to be less sticky. Okay. Also, what about things like regular exercise, other things we can do beyond medications? All those things that we normally think of, proper diet and exercise, vitamins, exercise, maintaining a positive outlook, all those things re reduce the inflammation in the body generally and allow us to be healthier. Inflammation is the culprit. And whether we do it naturally by all those means or, uh, or help us ourselves along by taking aspirin, I think all of them work together as well. Dr. Ernie Patty, St. Barnabas Hospital in the Bronx, thanks very much yeah. for being with thanks. us. Thanks. Having been uh, uh, 15 years now cancer-free myself, I mean, it's an exciting new breakthrough here. So. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks. And that